for New York. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding and they're piling up the assists. Denver calls timeout. And I think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea. One of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan. And sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Colinari dishes to Laverne. Johnson over to help. And Laverne picks to Moutier. Denver passing it around. From 13, that one's in there. The New York lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Gallinari. You got to give high marks for that tough defensive effort. He was right in his jersey there. But that's just a terrific shot to knock it down with that kind of defensive pressure. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain. Whoa! Oh, goodness. Woo. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. Oh, take it to the hoop. And how, Clark. Brilliant oh. throwdown. Just exerting his authority on that play. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. A different look for Denver. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Reed. Hickson comes in for Laverne. And Wilson Chandler's subbed in for Gallinari. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Moody with the basket. There it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. And it's our test missing. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. And so New York calls timeout. So New York ends up going with the new group. Denver also making some changes. Will Barton comes in for Randy Foy. And Nelson is subbed in for Moutier. Over in the corner, AC. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. AC's got his first bucket in this one. Denver trails by eight. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Jones. Throws down the breakaway jam. Agility leads to thievery there as he's got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And, Clark, that's been the story of this game so far. I mean, they cannot hand over any more easy points in the open floor. Nelson kicks to Barton. Let's it go from deep. That's good. Barton's got eight points. And, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Ryan passes to Jordan. Takes it off the glass. He's got seven. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. For Denver, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. At the line for two. Shooting two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And New York making a change here. So after making the first, he goes one for two. New York leading by eight. Stoudemire goes in. And a missed layup. Yeah, credit the D there. Got his hands up and made sure he wasn't comfortable on the release. Sure did. Stayed real snug on it and didn't allow him the space he needed to get a good shot off. Outside for our test. And again, New York with the triple. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got